I'm sorry? What's happening? Hey guys, it's Nico. I forgot my name. <laughs> I'm here today to test out four different liquid highlighters in different price ranges. I am personally not the biggest fan of liquid highlighters. They kind of just always ruin the makeup I already have on underneath. It makes me want to scream. For the sake of this test, I'm gonna be staying away from powdered stuff on my face. I know that that's gonna be a recipe for disaster, putting a liquid on top of a powder, so I'd rather just not. Let's just not. On one side of my face, I'm going to be applying the liquid highlighter with my fingers, and then on the other side of my face, I'm gonna be using a beauty sponge just to blend it in with that. I just wanna see how different application methods give me different results. What I'm really going to be looking for with these highlighters is blendability, that glow, and price. How much of this am I supposed to use? Ah! Let's just do it. Oh, wait, that's really pretty. This is like the awkward influencer makeup artist on IG head tilt to show you the highlight. It didn't rub any foundation off. It didn't smear it or like remove it. It looks like nothing ever even happened. I just added some really pretty highlight. Oh no, I don't like this. Wait, <laughs> it's out of control. I don't know why, but on this side, the side that I used a beauty sponge on, it all blended together so well, and I think that just all had to do with the way it was applied with the beauty sponge. I think that using your fingers is automatically just like make the liquid highlighter just start rubbing your makeup underneath off. I think I have, I'm supposed to be shaking these. I'm so shocked at how well this is like going because the last time I applied liquid highlighter, it was a disaster. Nico, no. But that was long ago. That is beautiful. Ooh. Oh my God, yes. I love this like fake sweat look. It's beautiful and sweaty. Doing it with my fingers just isn't cutting it. It isn't giving me that oomph. You better get it right the first time, sis, or else it's over for you. You know, your fingers are like creasy and warm. It's just rubbing the foundation off with the product. It's so nice with a sponge. And the price point, I think, is great for how much you actually get in here. Everything at the drugstore has just been getting so much more expensive all of a sudden, and this just does not seem like a product worth $14.99 to me. This also looks chunky as <laughs> It looks like it's full of glitter, which the other ones did have like a glittery look to them, but once you put them on the face, they just look really pretty and sheeny. This just looks like glitter glue in a bottle. I'm disgusted. I'm sorry? What's happening? It's too late, I can't go back now. <laughs> blend, 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 blend. I just gotta pounce. I don't like hate it. I think my initial reaction was a bit harsh and overreactive. Is that a word? I just feel very uncomfortable after what just happened. Because of its thicker consistency, I do feel more comfortable with it on the finger application side, but it's still just like, I don't know. Out of the three that I've tried so far, this formula definitely isn't the best and I feel like at a price point of $15, you need to be better basically, cause. Okay. I know this is gonna be super blinding, 
So let's go in sparingly and add more if needed. Let's start with like one drop. Okay. Ooh, it's dripping already. Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze my blender and we're gonna start patting in. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I can definitely see it on my face. I'm just gonna put a teeny tiny bit more. This is the point where I get carried away. Do you see that? It's like they won't blend into my skin. What? It's not terrible, but I can also still see it doing that thing where it like rubs off the foundation I have on. And again, I have no powder on my face. I don't know. I just feel like both sides are kind of disappointing me when it comes to the blendability part it's got that shine. I think we have a winner. I've thought about it for a very long time, and by that I mean the past 10 minutes. And I think that I can say that the winner is the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter in Luminous Gold. Number two, my number two was my number one in my heart. I went with the Makeup Revolution one because it hit every single mark for me. It was blendable. It didn't ruin my makeup underneath. And on top of that, $9 isn't a crazy amount of money, I think. I would have gone for the Miss A one if it had the same amount of product. I feel like the Miss A one is better for you if you know that this is not something that you're gonna be using a lot. All in all, I was pleasantly surprised with today's test because I think I'm a liquid highlighter lover now and I'm really, really happy, especially with my Makeup Revolution one.